Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a hot minute, but today we're going to be testing out and opening this brand new Whitebeard Starter Deck 15. Now, you might be asking yourself, DK, it's been a minute. Where have your gameplay videos been? I think this is the first gameplay video I'm doing in literally ages. I just honestly haven't had too much time to do these, but we're doing it today. And I heard there's a PRB pack in here, so let's pull the God Pack. One pack magic. Let's go. Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, y'all are having an absolutely wonderful, beautiful, and an amazing day. Now, before we get started, I do want to say I apologize for late uploads. Um, yeah, just a lot of life stuff's been happening. I did. I'm I'm uploading some on the Pokemon channel recently, but it's just I'm, I'm flip flopping between the two. <laughs> it's been a long time, so I do apologize. But I got this deck. I got another deck. Um, I'll be honest with you, ladies and gentlemen. Getting the new starter decks has actually been really tough. I don't know how y'all have been coping, but some people in my area have been trying to scalp this starter deck for a lot and they, they take the packs out they're scalping it for more um and it's just been weird i'll be honest it's just, the experience has been weird with these new star decks and the weird thing is that they released like six at the same time so i actually went to my local walmart as well and there was i went the day of release at that time and the lady who was restocking stuff said there was one guy literally camping there waiting to take all the star decks and she only had one set of star decks which was starter deck red at the time and the guy just bought all the whole the whole case of it so it's been tough, but I went to one of my local stores, and they did have this starter deck and one other starter deck. I could choose the other color. You can only get one of each and then one color, and you only get two. So basically, out of the six, you can pick two, and it can't be the same color. So I got this red one, and let me know down in the comments what other color you think I got. I'm curious to see what y'all's responses are. But ladies and gentlemen, let's open the starter deck 15. It's been, the f it's been a very long time. Um, as you know, Whitebeard is one of my favorite characters, if not my favorite character in the One Piece anime, TCG, you name it. Um, I've just been playing a lot of RP Luffy, as y'all know, um, but I just haven't had time. I haven't had time to play the game recently, so I'm really, really out of the loop. So today's gameplay video is going to be absolutely a nightmare. That is just my honest take on it. I'm going to be getting absolutely right just to kind of get started let's see what we got definitely not a god patch so that's cool that's that's fine no one asked for a god pack did we we got a duval which these are all reprint cards to my understanding here ladies and gentlemen uh for meta cards that people need the sanji leader is new um okay so we got how and blaze horrible card borsalino blocker like i said before they're reprinting very very meta cards for prb01 so this is going to be a really amazing set for anyone who wants to go and look they have specialty dawn here as well and this is used as Captain Kids Dawn, especially here. But he let's dive into the actual Edward Newgate starter deck, ladies and gentlemen. So, ladies and gentlemen, obviously, Whitebeard Leader to start out. Uh, end of your turn, add one card at the top of your life cards to your hand. So, basically, you you kind of ramp cards early on with Whitebeard. He used to be very, very strong. Um, that is a new Whitebeard card. I And that looks freaking amazing. Oh, my days. Holy crap. On play. Give to one rested Dawn card to your leader or one of your characters. Activate main. You may rest this character, knock it up to one of your opponent's characters with 5,000 power or less. Very interesting. They only give you two, obviously, because starter decks will only give you two of the best cards per deck. Ace SR. So this is an alt art white beard, seven cost, 8,000 power. Interesting. Okay. Ace SR. If your leader type includes white beard, which it does, this character gains rush. So rush, five cost, 6,000 power. Ace card. Once per this character would be removed from the field by your opponent's effect, you may give this character minus 2,000 power during this turn instead. Okay. So basically, this card is like a Sabo leader card effect. So you, instead, if someone attacks you once, you can negate that attack and not get him knocked out by instead losing 2,000 power. So then the next hit, he'll only be 4,000 power, and you got to at least at that point counter that card. Um, okay. And then we have, are these all new cards? No, Atmos. This is a reprint card with, um, wait, no, it's not. One attack, and if your leader is ever new gate, which he is, you cannot add life cards to your hand using your own effects during this turn. So this card basically prevents you from losing life by attacking on play, not on play, obviously. Interesting. So they're doing they're making ways for you not to lose your own life per turn by adding cards like that. Okay, very interesting. Good card. Um King Do, blocker. It's a four three cost four thousand power blocker, which when this character is knocked out by an effect after one of your leader gains two thousand power during this turn by an effect. Okay. Well, this character is knocked out by an effect. Okay, very interesting. So they give you four of these cards, four blockers. Very interesting. Thatch on play. If your leader includes white beer, which does give 20 points, characters much more power than this turn, then add one card from the top of your life cards to your hand. Okay, so. Hmm. I feel like this is probably like a kill event 
card. You don't want to probably play this card early game because then you'd be losing two life very early in the game. I think he'd be better used as a counter, but clearly they like this card a lot because they gave him only two in this deck. Jozu is a reprint card. It's you basically you only want to use this card for a counter. Let's just be honest with you. Marco Blocker, that's also a reprint. You need this card. Same thing as Ace, kind of to an extent. But if he's knocked out, you can just trash Whitebeard from your hand. If you have two left last card, you can play this card back from your trash to rest it. So let's say you block it with this card. He gets knocked out. And then you can just trash a Whitebeard type card from your hand. You'll get it back. Rakuyo is also a reprint card. All of your characters with the type, including Whitebeards, gains 1,000 power if you give them a Dawn. So it's a pretty interesting card. You may be a fool, but I still love you. I definitely don't. I love y'all. I hated this little turd munch. Squard. If you have three or less life cards, you cannot add life cards to your hand using your own effects during this turn. So basically, this is a Dawn card to negate your leader effect for the turn. Which, whatever, it is what it is. Izo, very important for any Whitebeard uh, leader. It's a searcher. You look for white beer type cards so you can search the card you need. Uh, Speed Jill. Reprint card. 4 cost, 6,000 power. Vanilla card. Namule. 3,000 power. Five, three, 3 cost, 5,000 power. Vanilla card as well. Haruta is also a reprint card. Get 20 of your rested Dawn cards to your leader or one of your characters once per turn. Very interesting card. I, have, I think I'd only use it for a counter. Fosa is also a reprint card. It's a blocker. 2 cost, 1,000 power. Um, just a vanilla blocker. And they also give you 10 Dawn. Now... Keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, this is the first time I have opened this starter deck. because there's, there's a lot of reprints in here with basically three cards that have been added to this deck that are not reprints and they are new. Or four cards, I'm sorry. Four cards. I'm very surprised that they did not bring the nine cost 10,000 power new gate to this deck. But this is obviously the one that I, I'm, I'm looking at right here. On play, you can give a rested Dawn card to your leader or one of your characters. Great card. Um, activate main, and then if you, I guess, you rest this card instead of attacking with them, you can knock out one of your parent, p p opponent's characters with 5,000 power or less, and you have some cost reduction, or, um, uh, you know, price reduction here as well. Uh, so, I don't know, dude. I think the only... This deck, I don't think it's going to be very good. <laughs> In all honesty, I, don't, I really don't. Because there is only one effect here, because 9,000 power... Uh, Nine nine cost ten thousand power new gate prevents you from losing life that turn as well. Okay, so when you summon them and you basically ramp in your eight thousand power. The only card in this deck that prevents that is basically Atmos, where you don't lose your life or your leader plus the event card. So I don't know, bro. I'm like I'm a bit iffy with this starter deck. I don't okay, so obviously the theme of this video is this deck playable out of the box against other cards. Now Keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, um, no, no starter deck is going to be necessarily playable, playable right out the box. But it's all about having fun, trying it out. So that's what we're going to be doing here today, ladies and gentlemen. Don't judge me. I'm Rusty. Let's get it going. Well, we have it. We have the deck. And <laughs> I'm going to get wrecked. <laughs> Let's refresh lobbies. Okay. You know what? I'm going to do this. I'm just going to make a lobby. And I'm going to let people just join. I'm going to do that. Yeah, bring it on, bro. I'm Whitebeard. I ain't scared of nobody. Okay, now now we just gotta wait for someone to fall into the trap of us going against Katakuri first game. That's cool. That's exactly what I wanted, ladies and gentlemen. Now remember, this is the starter deck 15, raw, unfiltered. His name is Rufy. All right, so let's do this. I'm gonna. Do I want to mulligan or do I want to keep this? Do I want to mulligan or do I want to keep this? I'll keep this. All right, so I'm going first, which sucks. I'm gonna summon. Izzo first, so let's do that and see if we can get anyone good. We got the Whitebeard card, but I don't think I want this card yet. Mm. Knocks out a character with 5,000 power or less. Speed Jill is a basic card. Um, I think I'm going to summon this Ace card. I think he'll be good. And then I'm just going to return everyone back to deck normal and end turn, and I receive a card from life. Let's get it going. We got our blocker on the field, ladies and gentlemen. This Katakuri has no idea what he has coming for him, all right? It's GG's, bro. It's GG's. What do you do? Nothing? Nothing? You did nothing? About to face my wrath, bro. So then I guess this card is going to come in a bit handy here. Um, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? What do I want to do? Okay, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to um, summon this bad boy here. Deploy. Activate main. I can give a rested dawn to one of my leaders or characters. I'm gonna do that. 
for um, Whitebeard, and I'm going to swing 7k at Cat Akuri. And I'm currently at 5 life, and he has 4 life now. So, for the sake of this video, I'm going to use this card. You may be a fool, but I still rev you, and I have 3 or less cards. You cannot add life to. Okay, I have 3 or less. I can't use it yet. Just kidding. <laughs> I can read. Don't judge me. And turn. Let's go. Come on. And I got Speed Jill in my hand. Let's go. Who loves Speed Jill? I love Speed Jill. GG's. And he's about to face the wrath. And the thing about White Beard, ladies and gentlemen, keep in mind, rush, strong, fast, power, DK cards. And he's just contemplating life. He's contemplating life. And he summons this blocker. Look at the top of your opponent's life and place at the top or bottom of its owner's life. What a turd munch. So we move, he looked at the top of my life and moved it to the bottom. Now, do I have a 2k counter in my hand? Yes, I do. Suck it. Let's go. I mean, sorry, this is a PG-13 channel, ladies and gentlemen. So here we go. I love this. So what I'm going to do right now is he can rush. He, he can rush. Is there a way I can just knock out that blocker? That waka waka blocka? Mm, no, I can't. Okay, here we go. So let's do this. Let's summon this bad boy first. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to rush. I'm going to go hand bone. The only chance I have here is to rush my life into this. So I'm going to swing 6k first. Have him do whatever nasty counter stuff he wants to do. Disgusting. He probably has 2k counters too. Yeah. Oh, he's just taking it. Okay, cool beans. He's just taking it. Wonderful. Lovely. Lovely. What did you just do? Bege? Don't worry. See, this is why I didn't summon Ace first. Because I knew a little turd like Bege was going to show up and prevent my man from attacking so we summon the ace boy right here use this guy's ability give it to him swing 7k thank you very much ladies and gentlemen either take it or counter it what you gonna do ooh, ooh with a klondike bar i don't know what's he gonna do block it that's what i thought he was gonna do and i take another life lovely so many vanilla cards with nothing to show for great lovely 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 okay what you gonna do buddy that's new. That's new. I don't know what that is. What does this do? Starter deck 20. Okay. Trash top life or trash two cards. Oh, that's kind of trash, isn't it? Uh, I mean, it's not great. You may trash one card from your hand. On play, your opponent chooses one. Your opponent discards two cards from your hand, or I can trash one card from the top of your opponent's life card. So I can choose. So this is a bit different version of the seven cost 8,000 power one. Interesting. Very, very interesting. I'm going to just trash the vanilla cards here. Um, trash two cards. Here we go. Boom. Trash two cards. I'm going to get rid of this guy and this guy. Both vanilla cards. I do not need them. Bye-bye. Because I'm going to get more anyway. It's okay. I have Izzo next, so it's fine. And do something. What are you going to do, buddy? Your turn's over. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Here we go. I have seven Dawn. And this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do, Onana. Oh, Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Let's do this. So I think what I'm going to do... I don't want him to have a blocker and just like knock out my bad boys though. So I think what I want to do first is I'm going to, okay. Cause I have my blocker here. I'm going to tell him my thought process. I have a blocker here. I want to use this ability now because I have three of these nonsense cards here for the deck to prevent me from losing life. And then I have this, I'm going to use these as counters, but then I have seven Dawn here. I definitely want to summon him this turn, but I'm going to summon him last. So I need to save four Dawn. Use his ability, use that. I'll use Izzo first. Here we go. What is it? Well, ladies and gentlemen, won. We won. We won the first game because the guy was a loser and he quit. Easy win. Let's get it going. 1-0, baby. <laughs> Easy wins. See, this is this is what happens when you play Whitebeard. People are terrified. Okay? They're just terrified. All right? That's all I got to say. Terrified. Oh, crap, Pink and Sabo. All right, this is lovely, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to go first, as we do on the channel. And I don't like this hand. I do want to try to get an Izzo first as a searcher to start out. So I'm going to get a mulligan, and I did not pull an Izzo. Lovely. Mm, blocka, waka, waka, flaka, blocka. Here we go. None of them. End my turn. And I can guess I really end my turn. Do I really want to end it? Yes, I did. You know, I'll be real with you. I know that the guy was probably going to beat me, but I felt really confident about that Katakuri game. I really did. I really, really did. Here we go. So I'm going to do this. Um, I'm going uh, I'm, to uh, summon a blocker here just a bit. No, I'm going to summon this guy. Yeah, I'm going to summon this guy. I like this guy's ability. I like this guy's ability a lot. 
I like his ability a lot. There we go. I'll summon Speed Jill next turn. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is Red Whitebeard. You gotta go ham. You gotta go ham bone. And clearly, people on the sim have no patience. So we just gotta, we gotta go hard, go home. So my next move, I'm gonna be at five dawn. I think I'm gonna summon Speed. Jesus Christ. All right. Well, I'll take that because I had no choice. Um, okay, so at my next move, I'm gonna summon. I'm gonna use this ability here, the the full one, because I'm at three life and it's getting kind of scary. But I'm at four dawn, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna summon this bad boy, Speed Jill. No, I'm gonna swing for. How do I wanna do this? What the hell? All right. Um, no, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. Yep. Use this first. Perfect. Can't lose life. Awesome. Use that. Use ability. Give him a dawn because of this bad boy, and swing attack. Booyah, 7k. What you gonna do? Counter that? No, you're not because that's two or three cards you're gonna have to give up. Unless he's gonna counter it. Are you gonna counter it? What are you gonna do? What What are you gonna do? What What would you do? Oh, he, he did counter it with the zero cost one. Okay, and then I summon with the power of four dawn, speed Jill. Bring it. Four cost, 6,000 power. Let's go. He's terrifying. He's scary. This man is sweating, ladies and gentlemen. Pirate47652, I got your number, buddy. Nami, five cost, 5,000 power. What does he do? He may trash one card with the trigger from your hand, which he did, and he knocked out one of my characters with the five or less. And if your hand has three or less cards, draw one card. He did not. He just did that. So I'll just counter it with this bad boy, and we move on to the next turn, ladies and gentlemen. Lovely. I'm super happy about that. Super happy about that. All right. Well, that sucked. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This is a blocker. This is a blocker with an effect. So I might summon this guy. Um, what I want to do first is I'm going to use this ability again to stall. Here we go. Use it again. Use this guy's ability. Give Arrested Dawn to my big boy here. Big boy pulls. Big boy 7k swing. That's right. Take it. And then I think I'm going to summon the blocker with 4 Dawn. Yeah, I'm going to summon the blocker here. This is kind of scary. He's getting kind of scary here. Blocker. And then I also have one more blocker foe so I can summon, which I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to do it. Do I want to do it? 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 I don't know if I'm going to do it. Mmm. 7 cost, 8,000 power, white beard would be so good right now. Oh. Here we go. Yeah, let's do it. Let's just do it. Just for funsies. Bring it on. There we go. He's going to lose anyway. He's going to be fine. He's going to lose anyway. I'm at four cards. Three life. He's at two life. Ladies and gentlemen, please unban Moby Dick. That'd be great. That'd be great. Come on. Come on. EA, what are you doing? I'm sorry. I'm playing FIFA a lot. I'm playing a lot of EA stuff. <laughs> he, did, he, did, he didn't know. He didn't know. It's okay. It happens. It happens. It happens. It happens. He didn't know. He didn't know. See, I, I hate to say this. I get, I get really competitive when I play games, and this happens to be one of those situations. Now that I'm getting kind of sweaty thinking about winning this game right now, I'm getting kind of uh, antsy a bit. Do I want to give a little counter? Uh, no, I don't want to lose a counter just yet. I think I'm going to use... One of these blockers here. Yeah, I'll use... Uh, I'll use... I'll use Fosa. I'm not, I'm not going to use... I'm going to use Fosa. There you go. Resolve. All right, there you go. And then I'll take the next hit if he goes uh, big swing. You going to go for a big swing, big boy? Oh, yeah, he's going for a real big swing. Okay. All right, bro. All right, bro. Okay. Okay. Oh, God, give me something better, dude. Just just, just give me seven cost, 8,000 power. Where's that? What did you just do? What did you just... Oh, you turd munch. You turd munch of a human being. Oh, I forgot about Sabo's ability. Mmm, disgusting. Makes me so mad. And he knocked out my big boy here. I forgot about this guy. Mmm, Fosa. Sorry about that, buddy. You're gone. This... Oh, God, this is so annoying. I'm not getting anyone I need. This is really bad. Oh, this is horrible. All right, so this is what I'm going to do. Um, so I'm going to lose life here because <laughs> I don't have any more of those abilities. But he's going to summon Nami next turn. So I think what I'm going to do here, when this character is knocked out of 200 points, you're going to get to the power. Okay. I'll summon this guy first. I'll summon him first. Now it's about stalling with 9 Dawn, ladies and gentlemen. Watch me stall the living bejesus out of this game. 
and make this guy rage quit. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not that way. I'm not that way. I am that way. Here we go. So I'm going to summon this blocker first. Lovely. I'm going to summon this blocker first. Lovelier. And I'm going to swing 7k at this um, turd munch here. Um, bye bye. Bye 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 bye. Bye 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 bye. What you gonna do, buddy? What is what is Nami gonna do? What's Nami's effect? I forgot what Nami's effect was. What was on? What is Nami's effect? What did she just do? Oh yeah, um, three or less cards. So she just drew a card instead of summoning the attacker, five k power attacker on the field. Foolish. What did I just do? Choose zero friendly targets. Oh, he knocked out my blocker. That's annoying. When this character is knocked out by your opponent's effect, up to one of your leaders gain 2,000 power during this turn. So obviously there. That sucks, because now he's going to be... Oh, that's annoying, dude. That's garbage. That's trash. Oh, that was not a good move on my end. So I think the only thing I can do... I have to go for game next turn anyway, just because I have nothing he's going to do. I have to try to go for game anyway. But I have three blockers. I have, I'm going to summon this guy next, uh, is my mindset. So we'll see how this goes, because I have four counters, a 4k counter. Oh, God, that's scary. That's scary as hell. He's going for a game, I think. No, he's not, because he can use Sobble's ability. Oh, 7k. That's rough. That's scary. I don't like that. Ooh, 7k as well. Ooh, that's scary. Counter that. Can I counter that? I can counter that. I'll counter that like that. There you go. All right. And then he can swing another 7k with Zoro. And I will counter that one. Uh, I'll counter this one too. Counter this one too. Love that. Love that for myself. Doing great here. 7k i will allow this bad boy to go resolve and i'll use the card action um and trash this marco <laughs> i have no idea. i'm just trying to stall at this point dude honestly that's just it's pure stalling at this point that's fine i'll use this guy no that's fine no he's, he's gone <laughs> he's gone no I'm, I'm not using that card action again oh god okay here we go all right, ladies and gentlemen, well, this is uh, really good. This is really good. So now I can't go for game uh, at all. And now I just summoned this guy, um, which is great. This is this is finally great. So you know what? Just for argument's sake, I'll buy. I'll, I'll get the card. I'll get this card. I'm going to summon him. Use, what does he do? On play. Give your leader one of your characters up to one rest of dawn. Okay, I'll do that. And then I'm actually going to use his ability now, which you can rest this character to knock out up to one of your opponent's characters 5,000 power or less. Wait, he has 7,000 power, so I can't even knock him out right now. Gosh! That sucks. Okay. Yeah, I can't even use his ability, dude. Because he's at 7,000 power, right? I'm going to just do it for argument's sake. I'm not going to win. Okay. Choose your... Oh, that sucks. That sucks. That's garbage. That's trash. <laughs> so bad. All right, so here's my last stand, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm going to swing 7k. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> See, the thing is, I love Red Yellow Sabo. I played this deck a lot, so I knew what this game was going to look like. And I still went for it. <laughs> I still went for it. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, it's okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, that's nothing. So <laughs> this is good. Just, just, just end me of my misery, my guy. End this misery. Oh, you, you really don't have to do this. Like, you, you really don't. This is getting kind of sad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I'm not going to do that. I'll just say GG. Let's be real. Be nice and say GG to the nice man here. And he said GG back. I appreciate that, buddy. And he disconnected because he's scared of a rematch. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I went one and one. We're going to... The record states I went one and one. The category was too scared and quit because I was so dominant. And then the the uh the red yellow sabo clearly cheated so technically 2-0 oh. but ladies and gentlemen i'll be honest with you the red newgate starter deck is actually not bad i played it just raw straight from the box and i i, I felt good it, it it ramped okay initially obviously like i said i'm used to the deck i'm used to red cards in particular and newgate was one of the players uh, the characters i played a lot back in the day the starter 15 is not bad there are some tweaks you need to make to the deck in my opinion to make it viable competitively speaking but right out the box not bad solid 6.57 out of 10 so not too bad but ladies and gentlemen if you did enjoy the video remember to like comment and subscribe to the channel for more content like this but have a great rest of y'all's day and i will see you next time